Hey everybody, how are you doing today? I know you can't see me, but I wanted you to be able to see what I was going to show you. And in order to do that, um, that's why you're only seeing half of me. Um, I came across this. This is really neat. Some of you may have heard of it before. Um, it is called Flying Wish Paper. Um, it comes in a package um, of about 20 papers. And the, it's kind of, it's almost like tissue paper. And this is the individual flying wish, wish, wish paper. I keep wanting to say witch. <laughs> but this is the flying wish paper. And what you're going to want to do, it comes with these little stands. And you're going to want to lie this down. And what you do is you write your wish on it. You can write a goal on it, um, an ambition. So I will write, I wish... to visit the beach. And then what you're going to want to do is you ball it up in like a marble size. And as you're doing that, you need to think of your wish, think of your intent, think of your ambition, um, think of your goal while you're doing this. And then you unwrap it. And the side that has your wish written on it, this side, you're going to want to roll it up, not tightly, kind of a loose roll. And then what you do with this stand, and I have my little cauldron because it can be messy and you'll see why, is you stand it right on top. Sometimes it doesn't always want to work. And then you want to light a corner, not like the whole thing, just like a corner. And then it flies away, as you can see. And what is supposed to happen is your wish is supposed to go up to the heavens or the sky. And I have my little cauldron because when the ash comes back down, which is still coming back down, you want to be able to catch it. And supposedly your wish, you know, goes up in the sky and the ash just comes back down. And here it comes way over here. So I caught my ash and I thought that that was really cool idea. Now you can go to, um, www.flyingwishpaper.com and they have other styles and whatnot. Um, and I thought it was a really neat idea and I've seen people here online that have made their own wish paper um, by uh, taking um, paper and staining them with tea and adding some herbs in it and whatnot. So the possibilities are really endless. So I thought it was really, really neat. The other thing I want to share with you guys really quickly before I go is I have some Valentine incense available at my Etsy, um, my Etsy shop. Uh, you can f I'll put the address down in the comment section of this video. But um, I sell floral incense bouquets, and this is my the bouquet one that I offer for Valentine's Day, and it has a cute little rose flower, and it has. 10 rose incense, 10 leather and lace incense, and 10 Tahitian vanilla. So it's a really cute idea because you get three. So there's a total of 30, so you get three different kinds here. And then also I sell individually because it's been really popular, the leather and lace incense. This is a package of 15 incense sticks. It comes really cutely wrapped and it comes with a cute little charm and I want to tell you that no two charms are alike I, I know that's the phone ringing I'm just gonna let it ring I'm sorry you guys no two charms are alike so um that's that and then here's my special rose incense and again the individual ones are for Valentine's Day are packages of 15 and also with all of the rose incense you will get this cute little Valentine um, sticker uh, or label to put with each of your 
incense that you get. You can stick it there, or you can do it on the side, and there's enough uh, room to write, you know, who it's from and whatnot. So, um, again, I hope you guys have a really good day, and thanks for watching, and sorry about the phone interruption, and talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.